A scheme giving ethnic minorities the chance to gain experience working with a national newspaper is calling for aspiring journalists to apply. Now, in an attempt to create better representation of diversity in the world of journalism, The Guardian is offering opportunities for students or graduates from black, Asian and other visible ethnic minority backgrounds. Shortly, you'll hear more about the scheme from its founder, Guardian journalist Joseph Harker. But first, a young woman from Nottingham who successfully applied for the scheme last year is Charlie McKenzie. And she told me about her experiences. First of all, we had to write an article and we had to send in our CV. So it was an article on anything, a comment article. I thought that would be suitable for the Guardian's audience. And um, I wrote something on um, bogus cab drivers because I think it was around the time a girl got picked up by a taxi driver and she was murdered and it wasn't really a taxi driver, it was just a, like a random guy. And that kind of like hit home for me because a lot of the times when I went out with my friends, we would just jump into a taxi and we just always oh, at taxi or oh, we'll just say a random name or something and a lot of the time we didn't check if it was a taxi that we ordered or a taxi at all so it was kind of hit home for me really so I kind of wrote my article on that and they liked it and they um, invited me in with a, about 30 other people I think it was over two days so it was like 60 people together um, for a little chat and they spoke about loads of news issues and stuff and we could speak about um give our opinions on them and I thought I was I was there in the room with people from Oxbridge and from all over they're all really intelligent talking about issues happening in Palestine and issues happening in Iraq and even though I know things about what's happening I just kind of felt wow I'm really out of my comfort zone these guys know so much more than I do and I thought oh, I'll, I'll just be myself and show off my personality and hopefully they'd like me and I, kind of, I guess they kind of did because I got invited back and got to spend a week and then two weeks later there as well it's great how many people were initially in the first stage that you mentioned there wow. with the oxbridge people yeah i think um, there was 30 people in the room um from oxbridge you know that sort of thing and then um after that it was cut down into to 12 people from both the 30 groups so it was like massive did you think you'd have been selected no, I really didn't. I, I I went home and I was like, oh, I'm trying my best. I just gave my personality across and I really, really want it because I'd love to write for The Guardian. It's one of my favourite newspapers and I love so many of the writers there and stuff and I was like, really, really, really wanted to get it but I thought, no, those people, there's lots of people there who were so intelligent and so smart and I thought, well, I'm not as smart as them. I didn't go to Oxford, I went to Staffordshire. Not that I'm not proud of going to Staffordshire University but they all went to Redbrook Unis and I was kind of like, oh. I won't get it, but I did, and I was really chuffed. What do you think set you apart? Why do you think you were selected among above others? Um, I did speak to Joseph, who's one of the founders of the uh, Positive Action Scheme, about why I was chosen, and he said it was because of um, my personality and because everything, even though some of the things I didn't really understand or maybe I, I asked questions about, I still had an opinion on them, and I knew quite a lot about popular culture, politics, and, and lots of other stuff as well, and I showed an interest in quite a varied type of, um, of of news so I think that's why I got chosen and um, I've got a really nice smile as well <laughs> joking that always works <laughs> so what did you do whilst you were there how were you kept busy oh it was amazing my first week I was um with the it was with education and that was amazing I was with some of the editors I f made sure I followed them all on Twitter and I made a, a mention to them that I followed them on Twitter so they'd follow me back so they see what I'm up to <laughs> so I was like I'll oh, follow you on Twitter make sure you follow me back and they were like yeah okay um, so I met loads of amazing people I wrote an article on the um, UK riots which was really good because I knew um, I was close friends with one of the writers in Nottingham so that I had like an input from that way and um, I wrote an article about being at university and wanting to get into Leeds University but getting into Staffordshire University and at first thinking that was one of the I was not very upset. I was quite upset about that, but it turned out to be a fantastic thing, and I've and I've learned so much from being at Staffordshire University, and um, I wrote a little bit for travel as well, which is different, and yeah, it was great. Everyone was really friendly, and um, it was great input, and I really enjoyed it. Did you leave with the sense that you knew what was needed to become a journalist in a paper like The Guardian? Definitely. Um, I thought it was all about writing because at university, because I did broadcast journalism, um, I learnt that. During that, that writing and, 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 and is a very important part. You have to have the style of writing, and we got picked up on that a lot. Like uh, Every lesson I got picked up on, Charlie, this doesn't really work, and blah, blah, blah. But being at The Guardian, I saw that a lot of people there weren't really writers. They were just had brilliant ideas. They all had ideas, and I thought, well, 
that's what I need, ideas. I'm good at ideas. I'm always thinking of story ideas and stuff. So that kind of prepared me thinking, OK, when I go into a journalism, journalistic job, then I need to be more of a thinker, more than a writer. So that really helped. What made you want to go for a scheme that was aimed primarily, in fact, exclusively, for ethnic minorities? Um, I think... It's true what the idea of the positive action scheme is. The fact that they're looking, they want to open the door for ethnic minorities, as they say, um, to kind of get into the world of journalism and be more in the higher up jobs. And I, I completely agree with that because how can you, in a sense, you'd be kind of biased if you don't have um, representation of, of different ethnic groups and, and social class and stuff like that so I really um, embraced that sort of thing so I thought that'd be ideal for me because it's what I agree with and it's what I'd like to get into and it's a perfect kind of job that I'd like to do in the future. Any advice for someone listening now thinking oh I'd like to do what Charlie did? Um, stick at it and um, have lots of people look over your article that you're writing have loads of people look over it, have people give their opinions on it, um, look out the box and thinking okay well I could do a genetic story or I can really do something close to the heart because that normally that's normally what helps when it's something that's close to you. Up and coming young Nottingham journalist Charlie McKenzie there sharing her experiences of winning a place on the Guardian's positive action scheme and the founder of the scheme is Guardian journalist Joseph Harker who I caught up with to ask all about. The positive action scheme has now been going for about 10 years and it's aimed at uh, ethnic minorities who want to have a career in journalism. And we, we target it deliberately because there's a huge disparity in the numbers of uh, ethnic minority journalists in the national press. So we wanted to give people a chance to see in a national newsroom to break down those barriers so that people understood that it could be for them. And also at the same time that our own senior journalists could see that there's a lot of minority, very talented uh, minority journalists out there who could one day work for our newspaper. What sorts of people have you had successfully applying in the past? Well, we've had um, Hama Khalili is one journalist. She came on our programme ten years ago. She then had a, uh, was given a bursary following the scheme to cover her uh, journalism uh, postgraduate training. She worked on uh, a local newspaper in Liverpool, the Liverpool Echo, and she's now working at The Guardian on the comment desk as part of the comment team as a commissioning editor. So she's, uh, you know, we've also had other people who've come in and who've worked for us either on a contract basis or as a freelance. So a lot of people who've come through the programme do actually have a long-lasting relationship with The Guardian. You have come under criticism for offering this opportunity exclusively for ethnic minorities. Do you think it's fair to do that? I think it is fair, and the reason is that we are looking to counter that disparity, that lack of representation of minorities. If you look at our newspapers and the people that they're written by, I mean, if you look at the media in general, um, if you look at newspaper columnists, for example, you'll find that there's hardly any are non-white. If you look at reviewers, critics, um, if you look at journalists across the board, across a whole range of papers you'll f and, or editors, you'll find that very few of them are not white. And this means that we get, have a very skewed coverage of Britain and of the world. I mean, for example, there are times when you really do need a, you know, a, someone who understands Britain's black communities, some Britain's Muslim communities, and, at the, you know, going back a few years, there was barely a, when you have no minority faces in your newsroom, the kind of coverage you can give to these issues will, will always be lacking. So we're looking to improve our coverage, but also to provide kind of fairness and equality for minorities and to enable them to have the same opportunities as some of the kind of traditional uh, white journalists have in getting into national newspapers. Earlier this afternoon, we heard from uh, a Nottingham young aspiring journalist who spoke of uh, entering and successfully applying for the scheme last year, Charlie McKenzie. Now, one thing that she said put her off in the beginning was the thought that perhaps not having come from Oxbridge, she might not be good enough. Is that something that people should be worrying about when considering applying? I think that that's a, re a, re a really valid question that she had, and it's a really strong reason why we do this program, because I think a lot of people um, used to think that national, the national press was this exclusive white middle-class institution, and it wasn't for them. And we found out when we first started advertising jobs that, you know, people weren't really applying, they weren't coming forward, that minority people from non-traditional backgrounds weren't coming forward. And that's why we did this program, so we went out deliberately targeting 
minority students and, and, and uh, young people who wanted to uh, get into journalism. So we would go to them, tell them that The Guardian is open for business, that we want to hear from you. We run the program by, they apply, we shortlist them, we interview them, and we look for people who can have a wide range of, of, of knowledge, who, can, who are confident enough to speak in a group situation, and can show that they're intelligent, able, and capable, um, and, and motivated. And I think what this program has done um, more than anything else um, in this newspaper is prove that there's a huge pool of talented people out there who traditional newspapers aren't tapping into. There's a whole load of people who have real, really interesting um, you know, things to say across a range of issues. I mean, just last year, for example, when Charlie came to our program, it was last summer and the riots had just kicked off and we were looking for people from minority backgrounds who could understand some of the motives that lie behind the rioters and you know people who were on the program last year had a really interesting time just you know it, 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 it's many of them just in, in reporting the rights and giving their own uh, th th their own take and having their own viewpoints taken on board by our guardian journalists so it was a, a really good time but often we find that you know while, while they're here in the summer there will be things happening for which they can give a, a unique insight which isn't there for, uh, among ordinary Guardian journalists. All important question, how can we apply? The positions are now open, the, the applications have now opened. You can go to the Guardian Work For Us site, which is uh, basically go to guardian.co.uk forward slash work for us, one word, and you'll see all the details on there in terms of uh, um, there's a special page for the Positive Action Programme. It also importantly has um, a link to a brochure which we produced last year to commemorate the 10 years of the Positive Action Program, and it's got um, testimonies from several of the over 100 people who've been through the program, and it's amazing to see the impact it's had on all of their careers.